Welcome, spiritual friends. Thank you for being with me. My name is Cindy St. Martin, and I am a certified angel therapist and holistic healer for the mind, body, spirit, and soul. And you're watching my weekly angel card reading for the week of August 16th, 2015. So I thank you all for being with me. It's an absolutely gorgeous, beautiful summer morning here where I live. And um, of course, people are out driving and <laughs> with their motorcycles and enjoying the day just like me and along with the cicadas. <laughs> so I hope you had a wonderful week last week and hopefully this week coming will be just as wonderful if not better. I had already called upon God, the Ascendant Masters, the angels and archangels to be with me and because of law of attraction and my intention I cannot pick a wrong card. I will select one card from three different decks and then a prayer card from Archangel Michael. I'm going to begin with the Archangel Tower cards. So I'm going to shuffle them and we'll see what our first card for the week is. August is certainly going by really, really quickly. <laughs> and um, I'm not looking forward to summer being over. <laughs> We had a, a new moon on Friday, and so hopefully you planted the seeds on the things that you want to manifest. And some of the best things to do, and you could still do this, is write down, make a list of things that you want, or write down the things that you desire and that you want to accomplish. It's kind of like edging it out in stone and letting the universe and God know and the angels know what you desire and what you want to manifest. And then be excited and patient for it to manifest. And it will. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut the deck. We'll see what our first card for the week is. It's the Five of Earth. And it reads, Fear surrounding money. The wisdom to accept help from others uncertain self-employment. I know we all worry about money and sometimes we, if you are looking for uh, self-employment or something that you want to do, it could either be self-employment or a hobby or anything that works with something that you want to do personally to gain, maybe make some extra money with. Um, the angels are telling you you have the wisdom to accept help from others. Get the information that you need or the help that you need to grow this. Spread the word uh, of this. Don't worry about the money. If you know that you live in abundance, then, um, and say this, these affirmations. You know, money comes easily to me. I have enough money to do the things that I want. I have enough helpful people that come to me. The universe provides this for me. The angels bring this to me. God provides this because he loves me. These things you can keep positive. So don't worry about money. Of course, you want to spend what you can afford to spend. But call an Archangel Michael. Tell the universe that you are in need. And that you are positive and know that you are deserving of the money that you need. So just go ahead and do it. Stay confident in this and, and powerful things are wrong will work out just stay uh, also stay patient <laughs> next to the cards are um, the romance cards we'll see what the romance angels have to say especially now with the new moon that's still around us make that list send the information put your intentions out to the universe and expect them to to manifest. Stay positive, don't worry. Worry only delays manifestation or it stops it from happening. Okay, I'm gonna cut the deck. And the uh, romance angels are telling us to keep an open mind. And the card reads, your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. You need to really 
try to keep an open mind with everything because um, blessings come to us when we do when we're open to receive information and knowledge and, and people and we're looking for a soulmate you know we know what we like and desire but sometimes there's uh, big things in small packages where you don't judge a book by its cover you know a lot of people assume that I'm a certain way and then when they get to know me they say wow you're nothing what I expected <laughs> you know because I'm so spiritual and connected with the angels and, and the universe and with God you know they have a misconception in me but I like to have fun I laugh I think things are funny and and I can let my hair down and have a good time because life is about enjoyment and having a good time even though I love my meditation and connecting but also life should be joyful so you know keep an open mind about people and situations and about your soulmate coming to you be open to receive whoever comes to you now remember this when you open the door to receive butterflies a few flies might come in <laughs> so we just need to recognize those flies right away and shoot them away <laughs> She didn't want to say, no, no, you're not the one for me. But stay open to keep the butterflies to come in, okay? <laughs> and the third set of cards are the Archangel Power cards. And we'll see what our third card for the week is. Okay. This card flipped out. This is the card I'm going to use. It's the King of Ariel. And the card reads, Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. Using resources wisely. So I think this goes together with the first card, which says fear surrounding money. <laughs> the wisdom to accept help from others. And the certain um, self-employment or anything that you want to create or do, hobbies or anything else like that that's involved. Angels are saying, stop worrying. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success, using resources wisely. That means, you know, the wisdom to, to accept help from others, getting the information that you need, any of the resources that you come, and of course, uh, come to you. Of course, we put out that, that affirmation every day. God sends me the resources that I need to move forward. I am open-minded. I see. I'm not worried, and I welcome any help that comes to me and those things. So everything's going to work out just fine. And also keep an open mind when it comes to your romantic life or with anything, okay? Because things may not be what they appear. Blessings in disguise, and we want to be aware of that. And, of course, tap into your intuition on those flies that come in. Pay attention to them. <laughs> okay, and the last set of cards, of course, are the Archangel Michael prayer cards. And we'll see what our prayer is for the week. Okay, I'll cut the deck. And Archangel Michael tells us, we are guarded and protected. And our prayer reads, Thank you for protecting my loved ones and me, ensuring that we are safe and that all our needs are met. I now accept your help gratefully and gracefully, knowing that it is right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance. This is perfect. <laughs> this is perfect from what we were talking about about having the money, having the help that we need to move forward, to make things happen in our lives, and to bless us. And Archangel Michael is definitely the one that can do that and bring loving people and the resources that we need. So this is perfect. <laughs> perfect prayer for this reading this week. So, of course, I thank you all for being with me. You are a blessing by watching and sharing my videos, and I am forever grateful for that. I invite you to please visit my website at cindyshealing.com. There you'll see everything that I do. Uh, you can connect with me with my social media and you can also uh, contact me or send me messages. 
whatever. I love hearing from you or getting feedback from you. And also, if you're interested in having a session with me, it's very affordable. It fits everyone's budget. You just pick the price that you can pay, and we'll connect through Skype or on the phone or in person if you live close by. And I hope you will take advantage of that, and, and uh, we can connect, and you, your healing can begin right away. Also, I invite you to join me every Wednesday night for my weekly live web chat. There I'll give free readings and you connect with like-minded people and, uh, and get blessings and support and prayers if you're going through something. And it's a wonderful time in the middle of the week. Helps you get over the hump for the rest of the week. So I certainly hope that you can join uh, me for that and the other wonderful people who come. You get people from all over the United States and of course of the world will get some people that come in and that means they're either getting up very early or staying up really late to join and I welcome everyone. So again I want to thank you all for being with me. Have a great wonderful week next week and know you're powerful when you're in the knowing. You have God, the ascendant masters, the angels and archangels behind you. You are powerful. There's no stopping. So lots of love and blessings and kisses from me to you. And I wish you all namaste. Bye-bye. Thank you.